Hey everybody, I'm going to be going over my next project here. It's going to be a display board for my OFCC army. Um, OFCC is kind of a comp term team tournament that I do every year. Uh, it's kind of big around here. Uh, so if you haven't heard about it, I've talked about it before in my other videos in previous years. Um, I just finished with the Fantasy OFCC where my team placed fourth, which I'm definitely not disappointed with, even though we won last year, so dropped from first to fourth, but you know. Still, it's a pretty good showing. Uh, you got you know, 100 players, 20, 20 teams of five. We got fourth. I can. It's not too bad. It's with my orcs and goblins. Uh, but this is what I'm taking to OFCC 40k this year, and it's going to be orcs and tau. Orcs are the primary, and it's kind of the basis of kind of an infantry list. Uh, it's definitely not what I would play competitively. Uh, this is this said this is a comp tournament. So I definitely toned it down quite a bit. Uh, my warlord is going to be a big mech right here, with custom force field and boss pole. Uh, for troops, I got two units of 30 shooter boys with three big shooters. Uh, one of them has 27 boys and three guns. The other one has 30, 26 boys, three big shooters, and a knob with a boss pole and power claw. Only one power fist, power claw in the whole army. Uh, for fast tech, I'm running three death copters. Actually, there's two power fists. I'm running three death copters. I'm running my Deller, looted LR jet bikes. Uh, one with big shooters and one with uh, buzzsaw. Uh, I'm running, I'm running here this DACA jet with the extra super shooters and fighter ace, of course. Uh, that's my fast stack for elites. I'm running two units of 10 looters. Oops. And heavy support, I got three lavas with three ammo runs. So um, that's the orc contingent, except of course, well, the Aegis defense line and quad gun are also orcified. This is the quad gun for my flaca truck. Which I've been using for my orcs, call it Cod Gun for quite a while. Uh, Tau Contingency. I'm running uh, Cadre Fireblade as my HQ. And he's got two marker drones with him. So he comes with a marker light, so uh, it's kind of a wobbly table, that's why it's wobbly. Uh, I just gave him marker drones just so you know, I could have some marker lights. They've been useful. If I get one hit, you know, get some extra BS when I need it. Uh, for troop choices, I'm running 12 fire warriors with a sash weed, uh, 17 crew with a crew hound. Uh, for the elite slot, I'm running two crisis suits with two fusion blasters each. Fast attack is my barracuda. I can take forge world on this. I'm taking my barracuda. Uh, I just I have some other forge world stuff. I just couldn't really fit it in because uh, it's not really. I got two XV9s. I've got the flaca truck. I could have taken. Uh, could have put the Mega Dread together, all that kind of fun stuff, but you know, I'm just going to stick with the Barracuda because I've been wanting to play with this thing for a while. Uh, that's my fast second. For heavy, way in the back there is two broadsides with high yield missile pods and velocity trackers. So I've got a lot of anti flyer in the broadsides, Luda's quad gun. And of course, the Barracuda just puts out so many shots. I mean, it's got an ion cannon, twin link missile pods, and two burst cannons. So uh, that's a total of 13 shots. Of course, the DACA jet is just crazy number of shots with a 9 twin link to PS3. Uh, yeah, that should be plenty of anti air firepower. I was, I just kind of set everything out on my on this pink piece of pink foam, which is this 2x2. Two two. I was really hoping to get some room for some train pieces, um, kind of make it look not so plain, but there's just no room. I was really hoping to get some trees or something on there, but it's just going to be a basic, basic display board with just, you know, ballast and rocks on it. I really don't have room for anything else, which is kind of disappointing. So I just thought I'd go over, uh, this, two th this is 2,000 points I should say. Um, I really, this is the list I played in my last battle report against the, the Slanesh Demons. And ended up losing barely, uh, but this thing is still puts out a lot of firepower. Uh, they're just shooting everywhere. The correct and, and it's got a lot of instead of just being a static place, we just got you know, the Aegis defense line. You just kind of sit back there and wait. It's got a lot of elements that come right at you. I got the fusion suits, which can drop down, and deep strike, which I usually almost always deep strike them. When I got vehicles on the other side, the crew can outflank, the def cockers can outflank, and of course, then the flyers are in reserve. So there's a lot of reserves and there's a lot of uh, coming at you in your backfield with this army, despite just having what looks like a static gun line. And of course with Fire Warriors in the back, I can use my boys to run up and, and be aggressive with them, which is something I don't normally do when I'm playing Shooter Boys. 
so yeah, just wanted to go over this. Uh, I'll be working on this as my next main project here. And yeah, any questions about this list? Uh, I'm going to be probably working up a much more competitive version, which is going to be much, much more infantry, more fire warriors, uh, probably less shooting. Uh, less, fewer lootas, more fire warriors, just much, much more shooting uh, from infantry. Kind of like an infantry or version of this, which I think would be more competitive. Um, but this is still a good list, but not over the top. So, any questions? Yeah, let me know, and otherwise, I'll talk to you guys later.